My name is Joanne McGill and I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis about 12 years ago and then I transitioned to secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. And my experience might be a little different because the first time I put on the sleeve and started to walk with it, it was not firing the impulses and the stimulation at the right time. Becky had never seen this before and Jeremiah came on the call. And I often think how fortunate I am that he was available at that time. And he said, I think I know what is wrong and I think I can write a custom program. I was just a little distraught because I'm like, okay, there's no way they're gonna write a custom program for one person. Um, and I just thought to myself, you know, I'm too far advanced. My mobility is too impaired and I'm not gonna be able to use the sleeve. It wasn't even two weekends. And he's like, okay, I think I have something. We did another onboarding and I put the sleeve on and the very first step I took, the stimulation for the shin lifted my foot. Now, I haven't been able to lift my foot in years. And it was just, I don't know how to explain, because when I put it on, it was like, oh my gosh, my foot goes up. I didn't think it could do that anymore. The NeuroSleeve has really given me a sense of independence. Prior to having the sleeve, due to my mobility challenges, I wouldn't go to the grocery store um, by myself. But as I used the sleeve, and I found that I could you know, go outside more and say, now I can go to the grocery store by myself. I've always been very interested in science and technology. And one of the things that I love about the NeuroSleeve is that as the user, we have the app that we can make adjustments ourselves. You really get the sense from Jeremiah and everybody, you know, in the organization that they're really dedicated to mobility improvement and for people being able to enhance their lives and their mobility. 